how to use Creatopy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Creatopy. So let's get into it. Now, you might be wondering what basically is Creatopy. Well, Creatopy is a simple design platform where you can create different kinds of illustrations, videos, ads, all that stuff or directly from their platform online. So to get started, what you're going to do is you're going to click on start trial over here at the top left. And once you click on start trial over here, you're just going to be led to their create account section so you can sign up with your Facebook account Google account or you can enter your email and sign up so I am just going to sign in over here with my Google account that I have already uh, logged into before so I'm just going to continue with that over here and it's a pretty simple and easy sign up process you don't even have to give your phone number or anything like that all you need to do is sign up via email so once you do that this is going to be your basic platform so don't get overwhelmed it might seem a bit complicated at first but on your left you're going to find your different navigation panels so you have your dashboard this is your dashboard then you have your my design section so anything that you've created is going to be in your my design section then you have your brand kit so brand kits are basically a component so let's say if you're working on a car ad so if you're making a car ad and you want the entire thing to look cohesive you can add specific colors logos typography uh, elements that are specific to that brand and you can apply them to all the designs so all of your brand ads or uh, promotions all of them look very much the same uh, not the same but like they follow a simple kind of pattern so after that you also have your project so you can click on create projects and you can create like a total project for a specific client and you can manage that entire thing over here now to get started with creating a your first design on creativity you can just go into your home page and you can click on create over here at the top right and then you can enter a custom size or you can choose one of these sizes provided it over here so uh, let's say you want to do a custom size and then you can change this from pixels to inches or centimeter or millimeters even and you can enter however much the size of your canvas you want it to be so let's say i want to create like a 12 by 12 instagram post so i want to create like an ad for instagram for like some kind of fashion content so i'm just going to add a 12 by 12 over here and you can make it like 10 by 10 or whatever size you prefer depending on what kind of ad you're looking to create for uh, instagram ads you can make them square if you're making like a facebook cover you can make it in a rectangular shape so you could add like 16 by 6 or something like that for those now to get started what we're going to do is first i'm going to give you guys a rundown of what this basically is on your left you're going to find all of your editing elements so if you want to add or remove anything you're going to find it over here on your right you're going to actually find these slides or the layers so the layers are basically present within one slide like you would find them in adobe photoshop or any other editing application so you have the layers of a singular page and then you have slides as well so you can create like multiple slides like a presentation or like even make it a video if you want to you can do that as well but i'm going to create a static animated instagram ad so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the element section over here at the left so you have templates you have text elements uploads button so you can create like these buttons as well to uh add to your website as well so you can make like website landing pages on create to p as well and then you have your background so you can change the color of your background then you have your animator brand kit resize and shortcut so to start off i'm going to go into the background and i'm going to go and open up the color wheel over here so i'm just taking this pastel kind of pink from the color wheel it's like a really nice dull muted kind of pastel and i'm just going to take that as the background of my canvas and now i'm going to go into the element section and from here i can begin adding different stuff so i could add stock videos stock photos i can browse images from shutterstock i can add audio track lines icons illustrations masks shapes logos jiffies and widgets as well so what i want to do is basically i want to create like a fashion ad so i'm gonna go into stock photos so i'm just gonna search for fashion model and you can see there are a bunch of different images you can also find like great illustrations on uh creative as well you can find royalty free illustrations on creative so you can pick one of those as well if you want and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this image and I'm going to use this as like my basic ad image. And then I'm going to add some design elements on the sides or like you can add some text as well. 
So I'm going to move this to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text and I'm going to add some designing at the bottom. So just like that, I've added my image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my element section and I'm going to go into the line section first. So you can see there are like a bunch of different lines. They're like super pretty. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these to make the borders of my canvas. So I'm going to pick out one of these little cute designs. So I think I'm just going to go with these little simple lines because I want it to be simple but I still want it to be pretty so I'm just going to do Control c or command c and command v depending on what you are using so you can just copy and paste those and once I've done that I'm going to place these at the top as well and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my image down a bit so it fits and now I'm going to change the color of these so I can click on this like whatever element you want to change the color of you can just click on that element and what you're going to do is you're going to find this toolbar that will appear over here and you're just going to click on color and then you're going to click on this and then you can open up the color wheel and pick out a color from there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first convert it to the dull muted pink and then I'm going to drag the cursor down so it goes to like one of the similar shades of pink from here and now I'm just going to copy this color and then I'm going to click on the one down below, the one that I placed down below. And I'm going to paste that color over here. I'm just going to paste it. And now they're both the same color. And what you can also do is like once you have this over here, you can just open up and you can also give it like a blurry look if you want. So they can look like this as well. So this is like 8% blur and I can add this to the bottom layer as well and like this so now it's like a more designish element if you want something to appear like it's in the background you can do that as well and you can also you know drag and drop and scale them accordingly and you can also add like a link click on them so if a person clicks on this element they are led to a link but we're going to skip that for now. And now what I'm going to do is I want to fit this image in a bit. So I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to go into the color section. And maybe I want like a shadow. No, I think the shadow is going to make it a bit too much. I think a color change would actually look nice. I think this orangish tint looks pretty good so i think i want this to be like shaped a bit i don't want like these square borders or edges so what i can do is i can go into the line section and i can like add frames or i can even search in the elements and then just search for a frame but another great thing that you can do is you can go into the mask section over here and you can see all these shapes so whatever shape i want my image to be in let's say i want it to be in this kind of shape i can just uh, take the shape over here and I can go back into my elements. I can go back and search for fashion model So I'm going to search for fashion model and I can just drag and drop my image into this and it will uh, Take the shape of that. So wait, this is not resizing. I'm just gonna take this image Yeah, like that. So it's gonna appear like that. So you can do that as well uh, I'm gonna do that again and I'm gonna do it with this specific image that I picked out initially and I'm gonna add this frame and I think this one is pretty good. So I'm just gonna add this frame and I'm just gonna go back and search for fashion model. And this is a bit annoying that you can't really do this directly from the image within your canvas. That's a bit annoying, but you can just research for your image or just go into your recents tab and find it over there. So you're just gonna select the image. You're gonna drag and drop it like this. And now you have your image and you can resize it accordingly. So it's like this and I can resize it to fit however I want and you can even crop the image and you can you know change up the settings a bit and I think I'm going to place the image like so and I want it to be pretty nice like that. Yeah, so now I'm going to delete the image and I'm just going to place this entire thing over here. I'm going to resize it a bit like this. And now I'm going to add some text. So I'm just going to go into the text section and you can see there are simple texts that you can add. And there are also font combinations like these. So I'm just going to add this font combo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text. And it's going to be the latest in fashion. And I'm just going to take the text. And I'm going to resize it so it fits better in my block like this. And then I'm going to change up the bottom text by Lux by Better or whatever your motto is, whatever you want to write. And then you can change the color of that as well. So let's say I want this to be 
a different color i'm going to go back into my brand kit on the bottom and i can change the color of the square as well so maybe i don't want the drop shadow i think a gradient actually looks pretty good but what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color of the gradient to fit like the brand kit and i think it looks pretty good now i'm just going to extend the white portion a bit like so and then i'm going to change the bottom text and i want to make it white just for like good measure and like this i have this cute little instagram ad now i can just download it as a jpg and i can click on download and now my download is in process so this is how easy it is to use creative p i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own designs using creative p as well this was just a simple static little ad you can also create multiple like videos slides you can even make like totally animated videos with the illustrations over here and that's totally up to you but make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video